Hello, welcome to another installment of Zarya Vaughn Reviews featuring yours truly, Canadian. I am a Grandmaster Zarya main, and today we're going to be looking at Jimmy. Now, if you've noticed there are no rank symbols on these guys, don't worry, I have you covered. Jimmy says this is a, quote, 6v6 custom game scrim in a casted tournament thingy. That's why there aren't any rank medals shown. I think my SR at the time was about 29 to 3100 ish. But I played with a competitive mindset, etc. So, this is a private 6v6 custom game, and we're looking at a diamond level Zarya player, I believe, on PC. So, we're going to go ahead and review this VOD. We're going to look at his positioning, his ability usage, his target selection, if he does or does not have a glaring reload issues, etc. And hopefully, we see an exciting game. Now, I want to make note that this VOD is old. It's not. Uh, I think I think he said that this was before Somber came out. Now I asked him if he wanted to submit a new VOD. He said, no, thanks. I'd rather you do this VOD, which is fine. I don't mind doing an old VOD. Just wanted to let you guys know what patch it is. You know, it's, I think it's like the triple tank meta potentially. I mean, it was a long time ago. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this. Oh, yeah, let me make sure my pen works. Pen, please. Pen, no, don't do this to me. No, pen. Pen? 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 Come on, come on. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Pen, why you no work? Oh, there it is. I did it. We got it. We got the pen, good boys. We got the pen. Alright. Alright. Yeah, like if they don't have a widow, we shouldn't be sending them for back. They don't have a widow. Soldier yeah. Reinhardt. No, they have one. They have one. They have one. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, pull back around. Far away, don't move. Soldier. The rank triple DPS. By the way, guys, that stuttering you're seeing, uh, that's in the video itself. That's not me. That's not something yeah. like that stuttering right there. That's not on my end. It's in the video. Uh, I can't do anything about it. So do bear with me. Not a big deal. We'll do our best. Um, but. If your quality concerns, it's not on my end. By the way, this first barrier was a little early, but I think it's because you wanted the Widowmaker to shoot you, which there's no tell when Widowmaker is or isn't going to shoot you. So, not not, a, not really a big deal. I probably would have waited for the Pharah spam, honestly, to uh, get energy. At least I think I saw that they had a Pharah. Also, this shield on your Rhine... Uh, no, that was fine. He, he was taking spam. He kind of just sidestepped it at the last second, which was unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, they should only have one healer. Someone's pretty low. Wanna reach the barrier? No, they have two healers. Yeah, catch the next fire strike and two Zarya orbs. One. Or up top, or up top. Discorded. Yeah, they do have a Pharah, okay. Oh, mercy, mercy, discorded now. Soldier high ground, back left. I like that you ate the charge for your own Rhine, that was good, that was really good. I'm slept, need barrier. Your Rhine can get aggressive here. So, so far your shields have been pretty, besides your early like poke face shields, your shields have been on point as as has your positioning. So you're rotating your shields between yourself and your Reinhardt, which is just kind of keeping your shield healthier than the enemy Ryan shield. At least that's what it looks like. Um, based on the enemy team's composition, they don't have any one-shot potential outside of Widowmaker, which I think already changed. If you heard in the comms, they started out with one healer, and I think that Widowmaker then switched to the second healer. So they don't have much one-shot potential, so you don't have to worry about like Roadhog, etc. anything like that. It's mostly the Reinhardt pin that is the main concern, and you already took care of that threat with your personal shield, so you can be, you have, you can be more generous with your projected barriers, which we've seen. You're kind of keeping your charge up, keeping the front line going, etc. So, good barriers, good positioning, by the way, just be right behind your Ryan at all times. You can transition between front and back line duties. Again, Again, here's another good example of rotation barriers, right? The Reinhardt starts swinging, he drops a shield a sec, we step in front of him after the fact, use our own shield to block stuff for him, and bam, we're at full charge. You're going to have time, yeah. Soldiers left side. Oh, 
Oh, a burn can... Oh, man. Oh, wrong person. Okay, so a couple things I want to talk about right here. So first of all, this is a great uh, pin on... Or, excuse me, barrier on your own Ryan in case that Ryan had landed the pin. It, you can't know you can't have known that it was gonna miss so that was a good barrier there you're burning him down which is great so right here i think is where we get a little hiccup we we stopped shooting ryan because he's bubbled which is perfectly fine but right here or actually let me start reload before, before i open my bounce let me just check what the reload was okay yeah so right here we we couldn't shoot ryan because he was bubbled but we decided to reload instead of acquire a new target so like the it, this is like a small thing, but if it happens consistently, it becomes a problem. You know, you're you're missing out on alt charge. You're missing out on dealing damage. You know, we can't. We have no idea what her health is, and she's got discord. And maybe she's weak enough that we could have killed her because we have 76 ammo right here. So definitely. So we see the reload. Definitely something to think about. And then we're kind of trying to decide who do I go for? Do I go for the Fair and the Sky? Do I go for the Reinhardt? Do I go for the Zarya? Honestly, I would say go for the Reinhardt. He's out of posi position. Zarya has no projected barrier for him, etc. But the couple seconds it takes for us to acquire him as a target right here enables him to get out alive. Like, he has no HP and the Anna Grenade comes in and saves him. Now, again, that's, that's a bit, that's, there's some hindsight in there, hindsight review in there. Because right, like he's already, he hit this wall, so he walked about this far until he started, you know, I mean not until he started taking damage, right? he took some, until we as Zarya started shooting him. And it's not, it's not something, it is something you could have done a little better, but it's not, it's not that big a deal. Just the lesson here is, you know, select your target quickly, that, that, that like, those few seconds of who do I shoot at, you know, have this consequence that he lives, at least for right now. Also, your Reinhardt should have been swinging at him, because who who else is shooting your Reinhardt, right? There's nothing hitting your Rein shield. I mean, I, see, I saw the soldier in the back there, guys. Don't think I didn't. But one swipe from your own Rein, and then he flicks his shield back up, and again, you would have killed this Reinhardt, so... Oh, one person. Oh. Good kill there. Gonna this. Okay, guys, this is the this is the patch before even reses are in the thing. That's how old this is. Oh, so this was not this wasn't a bad play by you guys. It was just a great play by the enemy front line. So our Ryan is going aggressive. He missed his pin. That's really the crux of this. Is um. He missed his pin, and you see both Zarya's have really good bubbles, right? The offensive bubble and the defensive bubble both come out. So the unfortunate thing is since our, our guy missed, the enemy Ryan lands his and bam. There's nothing we're going to be able to do here. Shield your mercy, shield your mercy. How have you guys- wait, how did you guys- Wow, excuse me for a second. What happened here? How did- your DPS just went huge! Oh, that Reinhardt messed up by not putting a shield up. Good grenades, by the way, to pop that Anna up. That was really good. Alright guys, I'm gonna look at that one more time. Personal shield to get aggressive. How that Pharah did not oh, kill you is amazing. I think there was definitely a missed opportunity for a projected barrier here. So we, we went that whole fight without a projected barrier until the very, very end. Now, again, our team did win the fight. So it's not necessarily needed. But in this moment, as Zarya, you don't know that your team is going to win this fight. So your choices are like barrier a healer or barrier a, a DPS. So... Right here, right there, Mercy was kind of weak. It was a little scary. Right here, obviously, you're getting dunked on. Mercy again. Look at this right here. This is why I'm saying this. She has like 12 HP. Oh my god. That was fine. The fact that she did not die is insane. Good job fighting that soldier. That was good um, timing with the barrier. He acquired you, then you buried, then he's forced to run, so. 
We got barrage here. Oh. Uh, 1966. All right. Communication of barrage grab bro combo. Grab Good. Ooh, I don't know about right. this barrier. So right here, we already got a ton of energy. Bro, I'm gonna. And look at the distance. Like the poke phase is over, right? The distance between these two teams is extremely short. So. Like, when you use this barrier on Ryan, it's basically telling the enemy frontline, okay, wait for that barrier to go away, then Ryan, you can charge in and I'll barrier you. Grab this then. Oh. Grab it. Oh, no. oh. oh god. Thank your healers. My goodness. We're gonna look at that one more time, by the way. Uh, okay, we'll look at it before the res. I'm gonna, bro I'm gonna grab this then. So the thing is also is, why are you walking in front of your Rhine when you don't have your shield, right? You 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 already did you already did the the front line dance. You walked in front, used your barrier, and got energy. So why are you doing it again? Like, right here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why this step forward. I mean, again, this is just a giant thank your healers moment. You should be dead, man. I also, I'm not like a big fan of this grab either. The result is fine, but it's the moment we press the button, like what was going through our head when we pressed it. So I see there was one here, Reinhardt's knocked in the air, and I think... You know, Zarya saw someone on the ground right here, and we know there's two up here, right? We can see two up here. So this is really only grabbing like two people, which n grabbing two people isn't a bad thing, but we want to know who they are. Do we need it? I mean, we already committed two ultimates to this, Earth Shatter and Transcendence. To commit three ults is a lot to win the fight, and I don't know, I just feel like your team didn't need it. Okay, so it was Zarya. Oh. Yeah, here comes the boom. Alright, there is so much reloading happening. Okay, that one was fine. This reload here, not needed. Right, just give it a second, they'll be you'll be able to shoot them. And then another reload. Also, I'm sorry, someone must have said something, which is why you turned your attention over to the right. Um, the the bubble on Ryan was fine. You can kind of reasonably expect him to get counterpinned, but this like that's two reloads in like four seconds, and you're at seventy plus ammo. So, it's it's it seems this this is going to be your biggest issue throughout the match. I mean, we're only three minutes into the video, and there's just so many reload issues. <laughs> oh, pause. Okay, hang on. Oh, she was back. Oh, sorry guys. I wasn't expecting that pause. Yeah, they're gonna push hard because they're wearing men down. Like, these reloads here, these ones are fine because you're not fighting anyone. There's no, like, fight happening. But those other reloads are, like, mid fight. This is a custom game, by the way, Dazed and Confused. Your soldier has been doing an amazing job of keeping this fair down. Oh, where was your bubble? Okay, let's see this. So this is the danger right here of these poke phase bubbles. So a couple things to note before we press this button. First thing is there's 45 seconds left in the game. You know, there's really no poke phase. The enemy team has to come at you. So, the, if the first thing is it's reasonable a fight is going to break out. The second thing is we are already at 70 charge and we have this barrier coming up in two seconds. In two seconds, you'll lose four charge. If you want to be at 100 charge, just wait the two seconds and then use your personal shield and you'll be back at 100 with a, 
uh, projected barrier available. So, I mean, essentially what we're seeing is just like really, really greedy barrier youth. just like constantly trying to farm charge and not thinking of, thinking out they're like we're not putting more thought into our bubbles beyond charge you know like i want charge how do i get it this bubble here this bubble here this bubble here and it's kind of like kind of like we've seen some some good you know non-charge bubbles i guess is what we'll call them in terms of like assisting an engagement especially only on reinhardt I, I think we've only bubbled one other person which is mercy one time and every other bubble has been on reinhardt and bubbles being on reinhardt is fine he needs them to for, in, for survivability reasons but Bubbling Reinhardt, it matters why you bubble Reinhardt. You know, if he's going in, yeah, bubble him. That's fine. But this, like this bubble right here, and there have been others. I kind of just was letting them go just to see, you know, what sort of uh, play style you had. Um, but th this bubble right here just kind of cements to me the play style that you're going for, which is very charge heavy. And you see the immediate punishment right like i was saying before if i'm the red team and i see that bubble i'm like okay i can go in now and that's exactly what happens right you're even you're you're like such high charge you actually, you didn't even get any charge for that barrier you did on your reinhardt by the way which just makes which feels even worse like you used the the precious precious projected barrier cooldown and didn't get any charge so then you try and make up for it by moving up with your own shield to get charge, which is what you should have done in the first place, and then somehow that pin doesn't hit you. We'll put that aside. I can't believe that didn't pin you and you would have eaten it with your bubble. But now it hits your Rhyn, which is, and now your Rhyn's dead, and now your team might get Earth Shattered, or Graviton, one of those two. Oh, Shit, sorry. Oh, there's the Earth Shatter. Yep. Okay, nice. Yep, there's the two big ults. I'm dead again. That Helix rockets. So. Zen's left side, get him. Yeah, don't push him. Because you didn't have a. Didn't have a. Bleh, personal shield. I probably would have shielded your Rhine there instead, honestly, instead of the soldier. Like, right when this happened. It's like me, and it's Reinhardt versus the world. I would bubble, uh, I'd bubble the, uh, the Reinhardt for sure. So someone's asking, why not bubble Mercy in the grab? Let's go back and look at the grab. Oh, Shit, sorry. Did the grab already happen? Okay. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes the grab. Mm, yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Yeah. Why not bubble? First of all, your Reinhardt should literally just like walk over to this. I don't know why he's walking at them. Um, but yeah, someone makes a good point. Why not bubble the Mercy in the grab? Because look at him. He's he is so safe behind his big blue rectangle. So yeah, that's a good point, Muffin Cat. Thanks for bringing that uh, to my attention. Definitely bubble someone in the grab. Oh god, he just got a double. I'm dead again. Yeah. The other thing was right here yeah why are you waiting to bubble a soldier soldier is completely like this again this is comes from a reviewing perspective right we can see soldier is not in any danger but even mid game if i'm in this round and i'm in your exact position like once she starts shooting rockets at me i'm like okay who is she shooting at and you see your fellow your fellow tank with his back turn like you shield this guy you definitely like shield him for sure so we shield the soldier that is not in, I mean, we can say he's not any danger because we're watching it back, but my main question is, what is going through our heads that we didn't shield Reinhardt? Fuck, again! Yeah. No, they get... Soldiers in box door? Again, another kind Soldiers of... So we got a good good amount of charge with the personal and i think we it's like this one we can kind of get away with because the payload is not even approaching the arch yet once the payload gets to the arch i want these bubbles to stop okay good you're such you're such high charge you don't you do not need to use a projected barrier for more charge. Just be patient, wait for your personal cooldown, and save the projected barrier for when you really, really need it. 
But I bet you in the next 10 seconds we're going to see the projected barrier come out. God damn. Did, okay, I just want to make sure you guys can hear this facepalm. Like literally one second later, we used the projected barrier for 15 energy. <laughs> I've got graviton. Okay. Okay, you're about to have another rotation of barriers. For the love of God, don't use projected barrier for charge. Your per each of these barriers is worth 40 energy, guys. Let's just do let's just, you know, quick quick math, okay? You have two barriers. I can't draw with a mouse. 40 energy. This one's on a 10 second cooldown and this one's on an 8 second cooldown. Together, they make 80 charge. If you use this one and then wait 10 seconds, you'll have 20 charge. And then if you use this one again and get full value, you'll have 60 charge. If you do it one more time, you'll have 100 charge. So technically, that's 30 seconds to get 100 charge of just personal shield. But if you combine just one good projected barrier, you turn it into like one and a half rotations. So all you need to do to get charge is be mindful with your projected barriers. It's about qual it's about quality, not quantity. Don't just you you're having you have so many projected barriers that you're getting a lot of charge, but what's the quality of those barriers? They're it's not that high. So with these next two, I'm begging you, please. Don't do it. Just if you want charge, just use your personal. Do not Okay, he's looking at his Reinhardt. Do not barrier your Reinhardt here. You have, you can't, you can't even, but you have personal shield. This is the farm energy tool. Personal shield. No! <laughs> you have personal shield up. You ready, clock? Oh. Right, I'm doing it now? Good job going for the mercy, though. I'll give you that. Mercy's in the bookstore. Grenades, man. Oh, that was good. Oh. That makes a good point. You are literally using barrier on cooldown. Shield soldier, there you go. It's on you. Good. Too far, too far. I think Farah booped you actually. I don't think that was your fault. Alright guys, we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at that one more time because it's I can oh, I'll never get every aspect of a fight in one go. So we'll look it? at this one more time. You ready, clock? The communication is on point. Are you ready? Yes. Right. Graviton now? is pretty good. It's it was honestly it was hard to get a better grab than this. So usually I would say like jump off the payload, but you can't re reasonably do that because of the enemy team is all over the payload. So working with what you got, this is a good good grab placement. And you see that you you see that you didn't catch mercy, so you move right past the grab, going for the mercy, which was great. Except you know you Together, didn't secure the kill. Together we are strong. Oh guys, excuse me, we have a brand new follow of Mental Depravity. Thank you for the follow, dude. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream, enjoying the Vonderview, man. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. So right here, you're doing a great job of going for the Mercy. But you need to, like, one grenade would have made the difference here. So look, this is, so, there's so many walls, right? You'll get such value out of grenades. This grenade is going to do 95 damage. Like you do, you get some awesome beaming off, but just just toss one grenade in there. Like right right here, she even she's walking next to these walls and she has about 100 HP, like a grenade and a punch and she's dead. Oh, you you definitely tried at the end though. So kudos there. You you did do this one, but you missed you missed those ones. And the reason why is, you know, some people are going to ask, like, yeah, but why use a grenade? You know, it's just a 1v1. But the thing is, against these, like, small, nimble characters, that's when gr the value of grenade goes, like, way up. Because it's hard. You know, if you don't have godlike aim, and to be and not, just to clarify, I don't have godlike aim either, That the grenade is, like, a crutch that helps you with that. You're able to do lots of damage with that grenade when you can't reliably... Uh, stick the beam to them so that was a perfect example of just you know two grenades there she's dead a grenade some beam she's dead a grenade some beam in a melee she's dead but where they come into the beam you know kind of cost us that kill and again it's 
you know, that's a hindsight perspective, right? We have the luxury of watching this back. But still, even in that fight, like, we'll, we'll, we'll look at it one more time. Right here. Right here, once I start missing my beam a little like that, because she's strafing, right? We just missed a bit to the right, and then we missed a bit to the left. I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I can't shoot her. I'm going to use grenade. And that's what I would do personally. Mercy's in the bookstore. I'm glad that you didn't commit to the Mercy in the bookstore. That was a great turn on the soldier. Good personal shield to get out. I mean, the rest of this is fine. That barrier was fine. We saw Zen take a chunk. Uh, two seconds. What was that reload? Okay, uh, 23. I, I mean, it's not the worst reload, but you still could have fired off another grenade. Like, w like I don't know why we didn't just fire off the last grenade. Because these grenades are doing like 80 damage right now. Um, uh, two seconds. Where are you? It's on you. Communicating barrier cooldowns. That's good. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, I was about to say you went too far, but the Pharah did push you in, so this isn't your fault. That was a great concussive blast got, by Pharah. I got booped into a really shit. No, yeah, that was a really, the... really good concussive blast. So, so look at this: sixty-three percent average energy. That's nothing to scoff at, right? That's a lot in any in any standard. That's a crap ton of energy. But I always maintain that Zarya is not. Like, I don't play Zarya to be high energy. That's, that's like the bonus of playing Zarya. I play Zarya to save, to save teammates, and that's my playstyle. Now, there's two playstyles. There's the aggressive one, the greedy one, and the, you know, more team-oriented style. There's a misconception where the team's, the team-oriented Zarya doesn't get to have lots of energy. And I completely disagree with that. I don't think that's true at all. When you're when you are a good team-oriented Zarya's, your barriers will still give you charge. And sure, your average energy will be lower, but you don't need you know 60 average energy in between fights, right? You need you need that energy in a fight, and that's where getting a good personal shield and a good projected barrier in a fight, boom, 80 energy. One more shield, boom, 100. It takes all it takes is three good barriers. Not even two and a half good barriers to be at a hundred charge. So, well, it's impressive to have sixty-three percent average energy. It's not. It's not. It's not all about that as as a Zarya player. And I hope that for people that are longtime viewers of my videos of my content know that it's not all about high energy. Sorry, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, he's trying to get back from that death. There's someone coming upstairs, left. Dead, far on right side, left side. Mm, I probably would have waited on that barrier until he was until after the invulnerability. Is he gonna live? Oh, he is gonna live. Look at this, but guys, this is perfect. Two barriers, and we're back at 70 charge. Okay, that's perfect example. So now we just need to be mindful with our barriers and. We'll be singing, we'll be humming with charge. We don't have to use them so much. Like right here, this is a poke phase. You see Fair, you see Zarya shooting at you. Yeah, no problem. Use one personal shield. One. Boom, 95 charge. Perfect. Now, you don't need a projected barrier to get energy. In 10 seconds, you'll have decayed 20 energy. So it'll go from 95 to 75. You're only minus 25 from max. This barrier will be back up and can give you 40. You can literally just sit here and keep your charge up at 100 on cooldown with a personal shield. And that means you can save projected barrier like exclusively for team oriented reasons. Can we push forward a bit? Just a bit. Yeah, it's top left on that I also, I also want to clarify that when I say aggressive Zarya style, I don't mean don't attack them. I shouldn't have said the word aggressive. All Zarya's should be aggressive because of the way Zarya works. I shouldn't have said that. What I mean is a team-oriented style and a charge-oriented style. Those two things. Both Zarya's should be aggressive. That's, that doesn't change between styles. 
what changes is how you use your barriers in a game of Overwatch. So, so just to clarify, excuse what I said about being aggressive. Every Zarya player needs to find a balance in being aggressive, no matter your style. But the barrier usage is really what you know kind of determines which branch of Zarya play that you choose to align yourself with. In my opinion, this is all my opinion. <laughs> Like there, that's a great barrier because right here, he has uh, about 100 HP and there's a Pharah right here. If Pharah like looked down and shot a Reinhardt, your Reinhardt's, your Reinhardt's dead. So this barrier is like, please don't die Reinhardt, get some healing and you save your Reinhardt with that barrier. Now let's look at your personal. Oh, you had a projected? Can we push forward a bit? Did you- don't tell me you projected when you're missing just 15. Okay, he- he projected when he's missing 15 energy, okay. Personal was good, you walk up, take damage, and back up. That's what you want with personals. That projected was good, which we already talked about. Oh, you're so lucky. You guys killed him. So let's talk about, like, just real quick, like, how you got into this position right here. If, if you hadn't used this shield on Reinhardt right here, he can walk up and contest a lot sooner. He can be more aggressive a lot sooner. Your team can make a push into the cart here. You know, he can charge it. Like, like this corner is a corner that defenses usually hold. You guys are just inviting in so much free space um, for the cart. So that's, no, that's one thing. You guys are just giving him way too much free space, number one. Number two, if you were holding this corner, you know, if the, if the red heart, if the red Reinhardt, you know, walks kind of in front of this wall here, that's an opportunity for your Reinhardt to charge him into the wall, and then you give him a barrier to help him do that. But since we're constantly using barriers like this, our Reinhardt has to play way more passive. Like, there's no way this Reinhardt can think of going in. He's like, you know, I could go in, but I just saw Zarya bury me, so th that protection is gone. And so now he just has to sit here and wait for your cooldowns or wait for your team to go in. And on defense, like, for the most part, not always, but for the most part, tanks determine where you play as defense. So wherever your tanks are standing, that's from there and behind you, that's where your tanks are. Now, there are some flankers like Genji, Tracer, etc. But for the most part, your tanks determine your line in the sand. And that's on both sides, offense and defense. And if you want a defense that holds, you know, to not give them space, you need aggress an aggressive front line. And Zarya Ryan is one of the most aggressive, amazing front lines in the game. But Reinhardt needs the barriers to be aggressive. Like right here, oh, if if you're Reinhardt, this is such a good charge. Like, let me draw the line. Like right, uh, let's do that. Like right here is a, a charge opportunity right into this wall. But your Reinhardt can't do it because he's no HP from the poke that you you could have prevented with a barrier sooner. I I don't know. It's just <laughs> so many barriers. Don't... Okay, you can bubble him now. Right, so I was going to say, you only need missing 15 energy, but your Reinhardt is half HP, he just earth shattered, he's going in, so this barrier that's about to come out is a barrier that enables Reinhardt to be aggressive. That's the difference between this barrier and so many other barriers we've seen that are just giving Zarya charge. Right, push this corner. It's only one shot they can come through. Sorry, I was I was totally spacing out. Right, push this corner. It's only one shot they can come through. Good, a hundred charge and look, we had both barriers up and we used this one to get charge. Keep that pattern going.
Don't do it. Do not barrier your Reinhardt. Look, we're, this is this is a you perfect example. You can walk forward ahead. again with your personal shield. No, 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 no. Personal shield. Personal shield. He's uh, looking I'm gonna for the grab. So the other thing is, our, the player we're watching, he's looking so much for the grab that he's like forgetting how to play the other aspects of the game. Like he can only do like one thing at a time. He's missing easy barrier opportunities on himself. And to, clock, are you ready? To get this grab. Oh man, your grab is so telegraphed. Okay, here's a couple things. So right, sorry, right here. You ready, Clock? Another op like we could have used a barrier right here to get, you know, a, to get back to a hundred charge, and then we play behind the Rhine shield. Also, we didn't. You forced the grab so much when you didn't have to. Like you can just keep letting this payload roll back. And then the payload is then you could then jump off the payload and grab them all. But what like what you did was it was just like right. so telegraphed. I'm gonna so hold this forced. corner. Clark, are you ready? It's it's amazing that no one on the enemy team was able to shut you down right here. You just literally walked into them, which is so dangerous. Now you managed to do it, which is impressive, but I think that's more like a misplay by the red team than like a good play by you like you didn't have to do this yet and, and a couple more things like there's only, there's 43 seconds left you could just win the game off of this grav right you could just you know go this code like the payload's rolling back the payload's rolling back just wait you just gotta wait like once they commit to contesting then then you can use the grav and win the fight but by using it early You've given the the red team another opportunity to respawn and come back, and you don't have graviton. So that's that's the kind of the dichotomy of being on defense. I said the word dichotomy. I don't know if I actually used it correctly. Dichotomy. Yeah, I, I did. A division or contrast between two things. I did use it right. <laughs> so that's the dichotomy of being on defense versus offense. On offense, if you're if you were in your exact situation on offense, you're like, okay, let's go, and you win them. You sorry, you win them. <laughs> You kill them and then you push. You sorry, you push the cart. But on defense, it's like okay, let's wait until the last moment to use our resources to win this fight. Because then, once they've expended all theirs, when I say I, I, when I say the last moment, I just mean once they start contesting. You know, maybe you you shaved off another free ten seconds. You know, stuff like that. Go six. Oh. Good barrier though on your fair. Oh, really oh. good barrier. What was she waiting for? Why was she waiting? Was she serious? I think your fair. Okay, this is a giant misplay by your fair. She's waiting for the transcendence to stop, but that's that's misguided because the fair barrage does so much damage it can out damage the transcendence. So she waste. You literally died, giving her an amazing opportunity. And in your final breath, you gave her the bubble that she needed to pull this off, and she just waits on it. Oh my god, dude! <sighs> That's a giant face palm by your fair man. Oh man. That hurts. You had all six of them just in a clump, and Pharaoh waited way too long. Oh god. Oh. I get some rips in the chat for that for that Pharaoh play. Jeez, that sucks so bad. Holy crap! Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's oh. such a good, it's such you forced that grab so hard like it's high risk high reward you got the reward but then your pharaoh messed it up oh i'm gonna have nightmares about that it's so beautiful what? i'm so sorry jimmy that was such a good grab dude it was risky it was so risky and you could have waited i already talked about all the other reasons why you didn't have to do it but you did it and it was good and it was risky and your pharaoh messed it up Oh my god. 
There was our... Uh, okay, I'm actually not that mad at that one because he's at sub 100 HP. Good kill on the Rhine. Enemy res? Yep. God. The Rhine house behind, get him. Where was our second personal? Yep. Our projected. Why? Why are we doing this? You literally, there are five dead in the kill feed. It's literally just Mercy alive. D please don't tell me. Oh god, he actually, he actually did it. Oh. Such a bad barrier. You see the kill feed, you see there's no Mercy. You're like, okay, they're gonna get red. I mean, this barrier for this next fight. And you just used it to get a big zero charge. And now you don't have Reinhardt's it. Reinhardt's get him. Oh. Imagine if you had a barrier right there! Oh no! Oh god. Oh. Oh man. You would have saved your mercy. Shit. Sorry. Oh my god, your McCree stunned the Pharah. It's over. Mm. Fuck. What's so okay, uh, the other the other small thing here is you see how they entered overtime and and whatnot. I, this is this is now hypothetical. We're entering into a hypothetical discussion. If you had waited for them to push up and contest the cart before you decided to use your grab combo, then maybe you know it, it's just a, it's a, just a cascade effect. Maybe things would have been different. Maybe your fair wouldn't have choked so hard. And you know maybe the payload ends here instead of them finishing the map. It's just because you sh because you shaved off ten seconds is what I'm saying. Like, like the the the, the most accurate scenario I could describe is when sorry, right house behind, right here. You know how it's you see how it's counting down and then Mercy has time to resurrect. Imagine if it's an overtime, right? And you killed their whole team, and then Mercy has to come out and resurrect. The time it takes for the, her to res them, and then them to like spawn back in, maybe overtime runs out. You know, who knows? It's hypothetical. But my point is, if when you're on defense, use your resources at the most opportune time to get the most value out of them. Since you forced the grab so hard before they contested the payload, you'll you you just you're basically said here have ten seconds. For free for us to fight instead of you know on defense you're just like sit, sitting there like you're just like think of like a snake right your 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 team is coiled up ready to strike at any moment but you just you don't have to yet you're just waiting until the right time and then once they once they touch that payload you use your resources and you know hopefully you'd win but even if you lose the fight the point is you wasted time you wasted a lot of their time <sighs> all right Okay. Let me take a breath. Alright, let's see. Zarya Bennett's from being aggressive. There's a hog in the enemy team. Yet, yeah, treat hog and D.Va kind of the same as Zarya. They're just giant alt batteries for you as if you play smart. D.Va is a lot easier to play against because she doesn't really have kill potential on you. But Roadhog, you know, you have to either strafe his hook or block his hook with... with um with the barrier, but you can just walk up and shoot him just like you can to D.Va. If he pops take a breather, you can still shoot him and just get some charge, but yeah, don't commit. Some pros are known for their energy greedy Zarya's. Yeah, but that's a completely different environment, honestly. Like, you're playing with six t top level uh, players. It's, you can't really compare it. Like, for the average Overwatch player, the greedy style will net them energy but not necessarily wins and i can't tell you how many times i have had a barrier ready to save a lucio that managed to get off a sound barrier save a zen that manages to use transcendence you know stop my pharah from dying with 10 hp left because i shielded her and she could finish her barrage you know 
save my Reinhardt from dying from a pin, and then he comes back like crazy and, you know, swings with a shatter. You know, those are the sort of things that that you'll you'll feel the impact of at, on a team basis as on a high energy Zarya basis yet yeah, you as the Zarya player will feel that impact and don't get me wrong being high energy Zarya feels great but it 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 doesn't it, I feel like I've won way more games being and again that I'm biased that I I play the team oriented style way more games saving barriers for that and I still am decently high charge you know mid fight if you're 50 plus energy you're you're just fine i i think i've said i want players to maintain like a 20 to 30 percent average energy statistic because at any point from 20 energy at any point can you jump to 100 guys like most people don't realize that you can be sitting at this weak little 20 energy zarya you get two amazing bears and you are at a hundred going from 85 to 100 doesn't matter it's, there's no different from going from 85 to 100 versus 20 to 100. The end result is you are at 100 energy. Okay, it's, the result is the same. Using bears in a in a window where no one's gonna engage on you is perfectly fine, because you, the thing is the important part is you will have them back when you need them. But when when you have one team right here walking this way, and then your other your your team is right here, this is not a poke phase. Because they're just like, oh, look, there's a barrier. Boop. The smash, 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 smash. You know, poke phase is like one team's here and your team is like here. That's a poke phase. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Check out these two other videos on the left-hand side and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button on the right. If you like all of this stuff, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and of course, YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good one.